Burglars with BB guns target parked cars along the street and they break windows in the middle of the night when no one is around. Now, quagga mussels will attach themselves to boats, but they're only as big as a fingernail at their full grown size and they're causing a lot bigger problems here in Southern Nevada. Now the call is out to the community to design a permanent memorial in this four foot by five foot by seven foot space. Fremont Street experience performers could be seeing some new regulation. You see they're kind of stacked up in here like cordwood, but a new city council ordinance is looking to change all of that. 10 inches of snow was on the ground last week and now we're losing an inch of it every single day. And with warm weather continuing, it looks like we're gonna be seeing a lot less snow on the ground. The shooting that occurred in Chattanooga last week. Doors inside recruitment centers are locked, providing an extra barrier of security for those inside. Today, the jury heard from the prosecution as well as both defense attorneys in the Flagstaff gang murder trial, where Jeremiah Barlow and Michael Buddy Vallegos are accused in the stabbing death of 23-year-old Juan Hernandez. There's a high demand for the new chipped credit and debit cards, so it could be a while before you see yours in the mail. Colleen Sakura, and IZ Today. Reporting live in Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura, and IZ Today. Reporting live in downtown Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura, and IZ Today. Reporting live in Flagstaff, Colleen Sakura, and IZ Today. So what can you see? Maybe a helper. She's nice and always lets us try again. An adventurer. She takes us outside because we have the trail. Here we go, we're going to read. And a teacher. She's a really good teacher and she teaches me a lot. Teaching something that I have always wanted to do. For Whitney Tapia, a third grade teacher at Knowles Elementary, it's all about the kids. You're shaping a kid's life and who they're going to become. Which is one of the reasons Tapia is Coconino County's 2015 Teacher of the Year and is one of five semifinalists for Arizona Teacher of the Year. It pulled me a bit out of my comfort zone, but it was really good because from the experience, I understood even more the scope of education and that education is not just important in the walls of this school. Education impacts every sector of our society. But back in the classroom, it's all about relationships. I'm a firm believer that once they know who I am and I know who they are, they will do anything. I mean, they, they will learn and they will work hard for you because they know you love them. Tapia's daily goal, work together. We are team Tapia in this classroom. And grow at the end of the day that they leave and they feel like I grew, I learned something today. Learn and feel valued. You know, they may not remember the lesson, but they're going to remember how they were treated and how they felt around you. A lesson not lost on her students. I thank you for letting me in our class. For teaching me. Teaching me how to do multiplication and division. Because at the end of the day, they're the ones that matter. What is best for kids? Bottom line, what is best for them? Colleen Sakura, NAZ Today. Today, Flagstaff native Paul Lopez works to clear his driveway. Over 60 years ago, he was on the basketball team at Flagstaff High School. I was the captain of the team. Before he entered the Army at 22 years old. I didn't decide. They decided for me. I was drafted. Lopez was one of over 5 million Americans who fought in Korea. His time there was spent as a tanker. I didn't talk about it. I never talked about it. Why should I? Now he lives with memories of March 13, 1952. This is the tank I was in. Traveling in tanks to North Korea, the tank in front of Lopez's hit a mine. I mean, my tank hit a mine. And, uh, you know, there it was, there we are, people attacking us and mortar rounds coming in from all directions. Getting ready to jump out of the tank to get a tank retriever. And I told a group in my tank, I said, I'm not going to die in this tank, no way. Lopez and the tank retriever came back for his fellow soldiers. And I hooked the cable to my tank with the other four people in it, and they hauled it away to safety. But Lopez went back for more, pulling out the first tank hit. So all in all, I saved nine lives. For his efforts, Lopez received a bronze star with valor, but didn't receive it until 34 years after that March day. That rescue forever ingrained in Paul Lopez's head. After 62 years, I can still remember what happens. It's something that I'll never forget. Colleen Sikora, NAZ Today. Today, class is outside. The subject, water. It's amazing how what we're standing on right now is filled with water. 
Kyler came out with his fourth grade class to the Arizona Water Festival in Flagstaff, ready to learn. Watersheds, I've learned about groundwater, and right now we're doing the stations, the areas of water. Not only different ways water works, but how to conserve it. It's really engaging for them. It's all hands-on learning. Sean Cedarstrom with Arizona Project WET says the program is designed to teach the up-and-coming generation the importance of H2O. They get more value than just learning this out of a book. Which is what brought Kristen Peterson's class from Flagstaff Junior Academy out to the water festival for the first time this year. And that's one of the reasons why we do these field trips, so they can get out of the classroom and actually learn by doing. She's teaching lessons on water to her class, but the concepts are bigger than just a lesson in a textbook. I think it's just important in general. We're going to face water shortages in the future, and it's important that they understand now how precious water is and how we can conserve it and how it works. Colleen Sakura, NAZ Today.